Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I know, but we have a few instances where initially it was stable and then they got a large dilation. So I would. It, it wasn't very frequent. <coughs> we actually had six patients, I think, out of the 50 that had uh, an important dilation at a young age and had surgery for that. So um, it's it's 12 percent. So <laughs> I wouldn't take the 12 percent <laughs> if I had a chance because and could we have prevent it. Lemus too, yeah. so it's the child is very young and has progressed pretty quickly. So it's just not worth chancing. It's just easier to do the hassle and go and get it just to make sure. So the other thing, uh, symptoms with carriers, uh, you did mention the elastics thing because I've noticed on my other kids that they're still a bit elastic as well. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Uh -huh. yeah, what, what about other symptoms like the sunken chest? Uh, I have an issue with the sunken chest. Uh, so I don't know whether they do and yeah. Well, at, at this point, now we're still looking mainly at a cardiovascular phenotype in the first instance and see if we can show that there is a cardiovascular risk in carriers. <laughs> but then uh, um, in the next step, we need to follow carriers prospectively and see is there indeed more overgrowth like sunken chest is because the ribs are too long and so the chest flops in a little bit. So. Um, that's something we need to follow prospectively once we have sufficient carriers that will give their clinical data to, uh, to research. Yeah. And I know that we're pushing the registry. I hope you don't mind me saying it. But um, going back to why some of the kids have more obvious issues than others, like Aiden, you, would, you could tell if you knew what AT, like all the characteristics that he has ATS. But he is pretty normal, other than cardiac-wise. So um, that's one thing the registry is going to do is we'll be able, when you put your genetic information in there, we'll be able to start comparing um, and noticing like what genes have certain specific issues more so than others. Thank you very much. Uh, I've been doing a big job. And, uh, staff and as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So once again, I would like to thank you all, and also especially Oran and Katrina and Andrea for giving their presentations as well. Um, there were a few um, carriers that uh, didn't give their date of birth yet to us. So if they want to do the examinations, uh, we would need that because we need to make specific patient numbers for the hospital and therefore we need the date of birth. So uh, those that didn't register yet to do the carrier testing, um, we would need the date of birth and also the consent forms. So they can be signed tomorrow before we start with the clinic. But uh, it would be good if you could make the numbers already for the hospital now. Are you doing skin biopsies tomorrow? Uh, it could either be tomorrow or on Tuesday. That's what I will be doing. The biopsies. <laughs> All right, so um, it's probably twenty or thirty <coughs> past five. Oh. Uh, so uh, I think we could, so f to go to the city center, there are two possibilities. The easiest would be just going by tram. So normally every family should have received a ticket also for the tram. It's uh, at 